Hey guys, it's me, OP Games. Back for episode 10 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Today we are going to be going to Castor Wilds. Oh, once we cross Castor Wilds, the element should be easy to find. If you forget where to go, just take a look at your map. Like I said in, previ in a previous episode, uh, I think I know the map pretty well by now. Until we get to, like, the fourth dungeon, or maybe the fifth. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'll know where to go, even though I have not played this part before at all. Uh, north of Hyrule Town, okay. West to Castor Wilds, that's what I assumed, because I know my way around Hyrule by now. Oh, Red Ruby. Um... How to get to Castor Wilds, though, is a mystery to me. I know you have to go through here. Red Ruby. Uh, you gotta go north? I almost have 200 rupees, that's nice. This is Trilby Highlands, this is not where I'm supposed to go. I guess I don't know the map that well, but well enough that I can make my way without much difficulty. Trying to get through the entirety of Castor Wilds today, in this episode. And tweets just keep coming at me. Okay, um... Castor Wilds to me is, uh... I saw a map for it. Did not see a walkthrough, but I did, I did see a map of the entire location itself not where anything is but the entire location itself and it looks to me kind of like a huge open area with a maze-like element so i'm going to have trouble in this place at some point uh i found a cave so let's uh go through it Ooh, treasure chest. And it's gone. Oh god. Poof. So, a guardian is protecting the treasure? Take care while fighting it. Okay. Did I just go through the guy with the... That's amazing. I can... I can use my Pegasus... Apparently I can use my Pegasus boost to actually go through a Dark Nut. In this game. Which is... Kinstone piece. Ugh. Uh, but this little, this one is shiny and new. Uh, don't know if that has any difference than the red, blue, and green ones. Red rupee! Nice! Alright, um... Like I said, I'm gonna have trouble finding my way through this area. Not there. You have to go up and down throughout, like, with, with these vines and on these bridges, and then you can't jump off whenever you want to, and it's just really hard. So, bear with me, guys, as I play through Castro Wilds. Uh, I guess let's take the southeast ladder? I mean, no? I mean, I have no idea what to do. <sighs> All I know is that where those ladders are is the middle of the wilds, and there is an, a statue here. Uh, now that is one nasty looking statue. That eye has such an evil glower to it. I was gonna call it an Igor, but I, I mean, I think that's its name from other Zelda games. I just don't really know if it's called that in this game. It probably is. I mean, most enemies have the same names as other games, and I've been calling enemies by the same names as in their other games. There's a Minish Portal, let's do it. There's also a tiny little place over here I can go- Ugh, not these lily pad again. Not these lily pad again. Okay, I am not talking well. See if I can go through the- nope. Stop me. Alright, let's see if I can get through. 
without any enemies. Stop with the flowers, please. Hopefully I can get through without any enemies, and I can. Alright, let's go down this hole. Oh god, that's a lot of really fast bug enemies? Don't really know what they're called. But the big chest contains a bow. Now you can take out enemies from afar. That might help with those Igors, actually. Let's try it. Once we get back to him. Once we get back to that Igor, I'm going to try to shoot it, see if it dies. Okay, so, uh, to get there, I have to use my Pegasus Boots, and you guys know by now that I don't remember things. I think this is where it is. Uh, uh, there it is. Found it. Let's do it. Let's kill it. And it just woke up. Ooh, but shooting it again does help, apparently. One more, uh, one more time, please. Oh, I was right. Three hits and it's done. Okay, I should, uh, keep that in mind for next time. There's one, if there's any more, and... I'm sure there will be more in this game, because there's not only one enemy of an enemy in a game. Especially if it's not a boss. Um, next place we want to go is I have no idea. Uh, what is this place? Nope, OCD. No! I- Okay. Good. It's symmetrical now. I'm good. Though my body may perish, I am still the true Master Swordsman of Hyrule. Swift Blade the First, Spirit of the Swordsman. If you train with me, I will teach you skills that are out of this world. And into the ghostly one. What? It seems you are not yet ready to train with me. Aw. Come back when you have all seven Tiger Scrolls. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that. But I have two pieces of heart now. So I guess all the training, uh, all the dojos besides the one in Hyrule Town do have pieces of heart in them. Because I went to, what was his name, Greyblade? And he also had a piece of heart there. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Then it explodes again, as it starts talking. Alright, there's another Igor here, which means we're gonna have to kill it, I guess. Hey, ooh! You got five arrows! Store them in your quiver. How has it already been eight min- eight and a half minutes since this video started? Like... I thought- I thought this video just started, basically. We're already eight and a half minutes in. Okay. Um... Well, uh, where do we need to go next? Oh, I gotta take this whirlwind here. Um... Oh wait, is this how to get to the? Is this how to get? This is a, there's a secret here. I'm gonna push this boulder for easier access. Kill these enemies, and then I guess get this chest. Hopefully, there's not another dark nut waiting for me. Nope, there is not. But it's another kinstone piece. Ugh. And another kinstone piece. But it's not gold, so that one doesn't matter at all. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, right. This boulder that I just pushed out of the way. Um, let's try to go... I haven't gone northwest yet, right? I haven't gone to... Uh, let's try. I'm gonna try to find my way to the end of this place, and I'm going to mess up a lot, because I don't know where- I, I really don't know how to. Uh, I can't go here. 
can't push that boulder yet. Um, northwest. How do I get there? There's no bridge going northwest. Um, I guess I'll. <sighs> I can't get off of here either, for some reason. Oh wait, maybe I can go northwest if I can defeat this statue here. I didn't know that was here. One, two, and three. I'm wasting a lot of arrows. I only got 25 left. Okay. Um, right now I'm going to follow this uh, actual bit of land before going north. Oh, there's water there anyway, so I can't. But there is a cave which contains another kinstone piece. I hope there's not... I hope there's not a lot more kinstone pieces I have to get. Because I'm pretty sure the gold ones are special. I don't know how, but... Okay, finally can move that boulder. Um, now, to get out of this place... What do I want to do? I'm going to try the southwest corner? I can't get to it, though. I'm gonna... Again, bear with me as I try to find the southwest corner. Ooh, wait! Maybe this is it. There's an Igor here blocking it, so... This must be the right way, right? One more! Yeah! Up this bridge... Oh. It's a treasure chest with just a kinstone piece and... Apparently some rupee likes, or whatever their names are. Because they look like like likes, and. Ooh! 50 rupees! I got 20 plus 50, which is good. But now I still have to find my way out of this place. Uh. Gotta get back on the ground level, actually. Maybe getting on the ground level will help. I can go southwest from here! <gasps> I did it! And I got hurt. Oh, this guy wants to- Oh! The gold ones did help! The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Well, I hope it does. I kind of went out of my way to get them. Okay, that only blew up a little bit. So I'm guessing you need all three to- Nope, that didn't work. I'm guessing you need all three to, um, break that giant block completely? Good thing I have all three! I was actually gonna not get all three, because I thought they were just regular kinstones. But maybe, like, something magical happens in, like, Hyrule Field or something. But apparently this is the way you need to progress. I'm not really... Ooh, Wind Ruins! Okay, this might be a longer episode today, because I'm also going to try to get through the Wind Ruin- all of the Wind Ruins by the end of this episode, and why do I keep getting hurt by this guy? Can I just kill him? Thank you. That, I believe, is an Armos. Looks like an Armos from other Zelda games, so calling it an Armos. Uh, there's a hole here. I'm gonna go into it. Treasure chest and a Pecori. <clears throat> These soldier statues here were built by the Minish ages ago to help humans. It's kind of a secret, but there's a switch inside that turns them on or off. Okay, well one, that's convenient, and two, if they help human if they were built to help humans, why are they attacking me? It's kind of like the Guardians from <laughs> Now that I think about it actually. It's exactly like the Guardians from uh, Breath of the Wild. They were built to help the hero. But then I guess Ganon turned them into... Uh, monsters, so... Does that mean that Vati turned these into monsters as well? I don't think he would do that, but... Because he didn't want monsters to be... 
in the world in the first place. All he wants is the Light Force. I have no idea why the Armoses are... There's a vine there. There, there are a few vines here. If I can become a Minish, I'll come... Okay. I'm coming back to the vines. Let's see what that entails. Okay, um... Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Uh, this one looks like the most secret, so we're gonna go down this one. Ooh, yes it is! And a cave. With lots of flies. I already have half a heart missing, so... I don't want the flies to hurt me any more than I'm already hurt. And there's a piece of heart over there. Looks like I can actually get it. Good. Uh I just said I don't want you to hurt me more than I already have, but a piece of heart refills my health, so I now have three. And I immediately roll into the abyss, wasting a quarter of a heart. <sighs> Link, stop rolling into the abyss. And I, and I just fell. That that one was completely, completely, completely my fault. Uh. Let's go back, and I guess finish... I don't know how long this video is going to be, guys, but... Um... The element is supposed to be here somewhere. So if we can get to the next dungeon, uh, by this video, that would be nice. Right? I mean, the, I mean, the element is south of Castor Wilds, and we're south of Castor Wilds right now. Let's turn on this Armos statue so that we can actually get by. <sighs> turn back into normal size. Defeat the statue. And then once that happens, we'll be on our way. Stop hurting me. These guys are easy, even though they hurt me. Okay. Uh, yeah, now is the time. I usually stop around now, about 17, 17 and a half minutes. But like I said, I do want to get through the Wind Ruins. Don't know how long that's going to take. If this is a 30 minute video, I'm so sorry, but I will still upload it. Uh, also, I'm not feeling so well today. More than just my regular cold, I guess. So, um... Making videos was hard for me. And... 50 mysterious shells... 50 rupees! That's better. Alright, and... That guy's blocking the path. Let's turn him off so we can get through, maybe? Okay, let's turn back into a human size and okay uh, now that we can destroy boulders I'm gonna do that as much as I can because it's fun and destroy enemies while I'm at it I'm also getting rupees for this so oh there's enemies inside the boulders so yeah, that, that, that works too. You needed to defeat all the enemies to open up the next area? Good thing I defeated all the enemies before I knew that. Okay. Uh, this looks like a cave, and we're already in the Fortress of Winds. Wow. We're done with the, the episode. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos. I love you all. See you guys next time. Uh, bye.